Today we're taking you along as we hike through the woods of Mount Mitake, a national park in the Tokyo Prefecture. Even though it's so close to Tokyo City, this is actually a beautiful place for outdoor activities and is a very spiritual spot for Japanese people. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to our channel. It's been pretty scary the past few days, few weeks in the world um, and we've been pretty shut up as well in our house. So we really wanted to get out, get out into nature and do some hiking. So today we've come about a one and a half hour train ride um, from Tokyo City but still in Tokyo to Mitake Mountain to do some hiking and we're going to take you guys along as well so you can come along and be out in nature as well. So to get here we took a train for how long? About one and a half hours mm. out into the countryside, the west side of Tokyo and we had to take a cable cart up a mountain. Uh, which took us to a beautiful temple sitting on top of a mountain and now we're just doing about a three hour walk slash kind of hike through the, uh, what would you call this? The woods. The woods, the yeah. woods of Japan and it's super beautiful and we're just about to stop at a waterfall and hopefully that is just as beautiful as everything else. So this is where we are hiking today. Um, this one, Mount Mitake, is quite nice because all of the hikes are on top of the mountain. You don't climb up the mountains. It's really nice. Um, although, as you'll probably see in some shots, it is still a little bit steep, but it's nice and accessible for most people. We try to find to a life to give our hearts and so love peace all. So I said that this was accessible. Not so much. <laughs> some parts, some parts. This part, not so much. I like to call this the ankle breaker. <laughs> Did you break any ankles yet? Oh, I've already broken three ankles. Oh, mm. bummer. <laughs> We've made it to the first waterfall of the hike and it's really beautiful and peaceful. Now we're going to have a quick snack and then head on the way to the second waterfall of the area, which is a sacred site. Soy Joy, for all your hiking needs. But for real, we thought we could get some food from a kombini near the starting point of the hike. Do not be fooled, there are no kombinis. We had to get this from a vending machine. And I wouldn't rate it, so Bring your own food if you're ever going to do this hike. What's the forest called? This place is called the Valley of Lost Souls. The second waterfall in the valley is a sacred place where purification rituals occur. It's part of the Shinto religion, one of the two main religions in Japan. This is where people submerge themselves under the waterfall to cleanse and purify themselves. On Mount Mitake, even foreigners can take part in this ritual. So we finished our hike on top of Mount Mitake and wow, what a great hike it was. Our legs are definitely sore, but it was so great to get out into some unspoiled nature 
and also be surrounded by so much culture as well. We had some great food in Mitake Valley and learnt some more about the Shinto religion. Now though, it's time to go home. If you liked this video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up, subscribe and comment below what's your favourite hike to do wherever you're from. And until next time, see you later.